Hey YouTubers, what's going on? We got another awesome, exciting video today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another unboxing of a highly anticipated knife for this year. In the nice padded case it comes in. That's no box, it just comes like this. What could that be? I wonder what that tag says right there. Oof, it's hard to read. Glare. Nirvana? What? Oh yeah, Spyderco Nirvana. Technically not unboxing, I have taken this out once. So, let's take a look at this super highly anticipated knife. It's been one imported knife of the year last year at Blade Show. And just barely made it to people's hands recently in the last week or so. Integral frame lock. All one piece of titanium. Peter Recente. Wow. Very smooth. Here's the deal though. What the? I can't get that lock to shut. Holy lock stick, Batman. We're going to come back to that. Because it's a smooth opener. Get in there. S90V steel. Pretty heavy stone washing on the blade. Almost a light acid wash. Got really. Just the maker's mark there. Spider Co. It, it really is a gorgeous piece of art, man. It's just awesome. I mean, look at these scales. The broken glass is what they call it, I believe. It's super thin. Like, so thin for this big of a knife. It's widest point point four oh five. Oh no, point four eight five. So under half inch at its widest point. Up here it is geez point three one. But its widest is down here. So it kinda it's hard to measure this on this one. Either way, super thin. And that's accomplished because of the integral frame lock. Got some nice jimping here. Pretty aggressive actually, jimping right here. No, no, there's jimping on the blade. No jimping up here on the frame lock, but there's good jimping on the blade. Great ergonomics. It's a pretty good sized knife. 3.75 inches on the blade. This is just killing me. I don't understand this. Like, I don't know if I'm going to get past that. I almost had to pry that sh shut with two hands. Why in the world, in this day and age, would they not use a steel lock bar insert on this? No, I heard someone bring it up on the forums today. Not heard, I guess I read. And um, they were saying, and I'm bringing this into the picture for a reason. I'll show you in a second. This one also. That they had some lock stick. And I was like, you kidding me? And I had it on order already. It was on its way. And... You know, oh, it'd be really hard to do a steel lock bar insert on that integral frame lock. Wrong. The Lion Steel SR1, which was made like six years ago in titanium, has a steel lock bar insert on there. Oh, that's just bad. It's it's really bad lock stick. It's not like a little bit of stick. It's like you got to pry that open with two fingers stick. There we go. Got it with one finger there. Now that's something that may break in, but on a flipping this expensive of a knife in this day and age why in the world I don't know behind my, I'm beside myself here's a similar price knife that I just got that I did a video on and look at that steel lock bar insert here is a considerably less cheap, less expensive knife steel lock bar insert no lock stick don't get it that's that's perplexing I don't know, thinking if, I think the Domino had a steel lock bar insert. I want to say the Souther did. I could be wrong. I don't have those knives anymore. The only other frame lock I've had besides the Souther and the Domino are, is the Sage 1. Or no, Sage 2, excuse me. And it, I don't believe it did, but it never had any lock stick. Now, Chris Reeve, which this is a Chris Reeve integral lock, 
does not use a steel lock bar insert. But I have never had a Sebenza that had lock stick or the new Encosi that I had. None of those did. This is kind of crazy to me. Like that this highly anticipated, very low production knife. I mean, it is a production knife, but they're doing like 50 at a time from what I heard. Has that kind of stick on it. Let's get past the stick. Let's let's forget about it for a second, and look at this knife in subjectively here. What it's accomplished, you know, for a production knife. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I've never held a Rosanti. Uh, you know, that lock is actually starting to loosen up a little bit. Um, never held a Nirvana. Actually, I may have held one at a USN meet before. And I was super impressed, and from what I've heard, this is so close to the custom, it's crazy. That's why I have the price tag. The, the, also, the manufacturing of this knife, it's not just an integral frame lock, it's also got this crazy design on the handle with the broken glass. You know, that would take a lot longer. Um, that's the S90V steel. You know, there's a lot of reasons why this knife costs as much as it does. Should it cost this much? You could argue that both ways, yes and no. But should it have lock stick for as much as it cost in this day and age? I don't know about that. Oh, I was really hoping that was just a few things when I read that and I knew it was coming today and I was like so excited because it's such a highly anticipated knife. I've had my eye on this thing for years, it feels like, or at least a year and a half. And here it finally is, and you open it up and you're like, stick. So you can middle finger flick it. It does. It is super smooth. I mean, super smooth. It's got that big blade too. I don't believe it's on bearings. I think it's on washers. I should know that ahead of time. But this is an unboxing video, so let's find out together, shall we? Hmm. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything? <laughs> it's hard to get in there. I would imagine it's on washers, being that it's an integral frame lock. But I could be wrong. And I can't even see, so. Anywho. Yeah, this is crazy though. I mean that like sometimes it sticks so bad I can't even get it open with one hand. That's just ridiculous. So Wow. Anyway. Well, other than that, it's it is an impressive piece of colory. It is pretty awesome. It's big, but it's thin. It doesn't feel very heavy. It feels pretty light. Um, that this lock stick is gonna be something that's gonna just bug me. You know, I don't know if I can put up with it. So, anyhow, there we go. There's a size comparison next to the 392 Warncliffe, similar in price knife, and the Kaiser Corto, about four times less expensive. Not quite, but close. Um, yeah, Spider Corner Nirvana. First impressions. Um, it's it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's definitely a piece of art. But as a functioning like EDC knife, this is gonna drive me crazy. I don't collect knives really. I use them. Um, I rotate them quite often. As you see, I have knife sales all the time. The only ones I've collected are the Star Wars Microtex, and even then, I'll still you know mess around with those. But this was going to be an EDC knife. This would be a good EDC knife. This would be a heck of a lot of blade in a smaller, you know, thin package that weighs... Let's see what it weighs. I don't think it weighs very much for being a solid piece of titanium. The pretty good sized blade. Just under five ounces. Pretty dang good for a full titanium three and three and three quarter inch blade that's a lot that lock stick though what in the world that is bad I mean I can sharpie that you know but here's the thing good luck getting your sharpie marker in there because you can't take the knife apart <laughs> I mean I guess you can you can take the blade out loosen the pivot drop the washers slide it back in it's definitely manageable but kind of you know just something I don't think you should have to put up with. That look how thin that is. That's got such a thin profile. Let's compare it next to the ZT. It's gonna kind of blow your mind. I bet how much thinner it is. That's considerably. Look at that. 
It's like no pocket clip there. I'm just trying to look how much thinner that is. That's pretty crazy. Smooth action. Hmm. I don't know, guys. The jury's out. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of work, and it's it's pricey though, man. It's I was really hesitant to even get it. I felt like I should do a video on it, so I picked it up. Um, but that is that may be a deal breaker for me. Spending that much money and having to fight that lock every time is gonna get pretty annoying. So, well, you know, I got I'll do a more extended review if it ever breaks in. This is again first impressions unboxing type video here. Um, let me know what you guys think of my new background here. I think it's pretty sweet. You can probably hear my kids in the background because they're stupid loud sometimes. But yeah. Alright guys, we'll wrap up the video for there. First impressions of the Spyderco Nirvana. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's really expensive, and it shouldn't have lock stick. See you next time.